The United States has offered India its fifth-generation fighter jet, the F-35. This comes despite India's acquisition of the Russian S-400 missile defense system, a move that previously led to Turkey's expulsion from the F-35 program. But does this offer make sense for India? With sky-high costs, logistical nightmares, and compatibility issues, is the F-35 truly a viable option for the Indian Air Force? If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, take the opportunity to subscribe now and activate notifications so you don't miss any videos like this one. India has shown little enthusiasm for the F-35, widely regarded as one of the most expensive fighter platforms in the world. The deal was initially tied to India first purchasing F-16s, a step the Indian Air Force was unwilling to take. Even Lockheed Martin, the aircraft's manufacturer, has stated that India is not yet ready for such a system. With no prior experience operating American combat aircraft, integrating a fifth-generation stealth fighter into the fleet poses significant challenges. At the same time, the Indian government is grappling with the growing air power gap between the IAF and China's People's Liberation Army Air Force. With Beijing rapidly expanding its fifth-generation fleet, including J-20 stealth fighters, does the F-35 offer India a credible path to maintaining regional air superiority? In recent years, India has focused on developing its Indian fighter jet capabilities. The Light Combat Aircraft LCA program, including the LCAMK-1A and the upcoming LCAMK-2, is the cornerstone of this strategy. India is also developing its own fifth-generation fighter, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA, to reduce reliance on foreign manufacturers. Moreover, India has historically been cautious about foreign military deals. The 2015 Rafale purchase, a $9 billion agreement for 36 French fighter jets, sparked controversy over its high costs and lack of technology transfer. This experience has made India even more hesitant about signing expensive fighter deals that do not contribute to domestic aerospace development. The F-35 program is the most expensive weapons project in U.S. history, with a projected lifetime cost of $2 trillion for 2,470 aircraft through 2088. If India were to purchase 114 F-35s, the financial burden would be immense. The flyaway cost for the F-35A variant is around $82.5 million per unit, but additional expenses, including weapons packages, training, and infrastructure upgrades, would push the total cost to over $100 billion. Operating and maintaining the F-35 presents additional challenges. The aircraft requires a highly complex logistics network, specialized maintenance facilities, and advanced training for pilots and ground crews. India's predominantly Russian-origin fleet lacks the necessary infrastructure to support the F-35, further complicating its potential integration. India's fighter jet arsenal consists mainly of Russian, French, and British aircraft. The introduction of the F-35 would create serious compatibility challenges Air-to-air -air refueling. India's L-78 tankers are not configured for the F-35, making mid-air refueling a problem. Communication systems. The F-35 secure data links would be incompatible with India's Russian Origin Integrated Air Command and Control System, IACCS. Weapons integration. India's current missile arsenal is not designed for the F-35. A switch to American weaponry would drive up costs even further. Software and hardware overhaul. Nearly 80% of India's existing aerial systems would require modifications to accommodate the F-35's advanced technology. Beyond the financial and logistical challenges, geopolitical factors must also be considered. The U.S. has strict export control laws, and India would likely require American approval for certain operational uses such as nuclear deterrence. Additionally, the U.S. has been hesitant to transfer sensitive technology to India, meaning local production of the F-35 is unlikely. If India were to purchase only a limited number of F-35s, perhaps 40 aircraft, it would not significantly impact the balance of power with China. However, maintaining such a small fleet would still be a logistical nightmare. While the F-35 is one of the most advanced fighter jets in the world, its cost, logistical complexity, and compatibility issues make it a questionable choice for India. The Indian Air Force needs a larger fleet to counter China's growing air power, 
and a handful of F-35s would not provide the required combat advantage. India faces a critical decision, invest heavily in a foreign fighter with long-term dependence on the U.S., or double down on Indian programs like the AMCA and LCA MK2. Would India take the risk, or will it continue to prioritize self-reliance in military aviation? Only time will tell. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, share your opinion in the comments, and subscribe to the channel. Your support strengthens our work. See you in the next video.